Alright guys, let's get into it. Here's some supplies that you're going to need. Some trusty scissors, hot glue gun, you'll need some paper cups and rope from Dollar Tree, gold, white, and black paint, paint brushes, tissues, but most of all, some Christmas spirit. I started off by taking out the cups that I wanted to use and then I'm going to use a chopstick in order to pop the bottom of the cup up so it makes kind of a dome shape. Be careful because you will break the cup if you are too rough with it. After that's done, I'm going to crinkle the cup. Yes, I know this seems kind of weird, but it will definitely help with the distressed look at the end. Now for the loops on the top that the rope's going to go in, I just had some extra um, hard envelopes that some paper came in that I'm going to cut up to the length and the size that I desire. You can make it however thick or thin you like. These cups are super lightweight, so don't worry about them not holding up. For mine, I made them about half an inch or so. Now I'm just taking the cardboard and wrapping it around my fingers. I'll glue it together and glue it to the top here. Don't worry about the color that you're using. Everything that we're doing today is going to get painted right over, so don't worry about it. Now just hot gluing this to itself and then to the top of the cup. Now I'm gonna make a circle of hot glue around the edge. This will give it that welded metal look. I know it looks silly right now, but everything will come together in the end, I promise. Now I'm gonna give the cup a even coat of white chalk paint. I'm using this white chalk paint in Waverly. You may think that this step might be um, unnecessary. You can choose to omit it, but I feel like the gold paint sticks better and it also, um, I don't have to put as much paint on because it's covered already with the white paint, if that makes sense. And the chalk paint also gives the gold paint a little bit more of something to hold on to. Once that white paint dried, I'm going in with a metallic gold color and painting the whole thing gold. This is going to be our first gold layer. While I wait for those to dry, I'm going to make the bell, the inside of the bell, I don't know, the dangly thing, I don't know what you call it. Um, I looked all over the house to try to figure something out, but I think that two of these dowels from the Dollar Tree will work out great. So I'm just taping them together 
and then I will paint over them. You won't even know that it's little dowels with tape on them. Now I'm going in with some paints that I already had. I have some brown paint, black paint, gold paint, and I'm just gonna dab it. In some spots, I will go over the, um, the distressed areas. You'll see in a second. I'm going to outline this line from the cup because a lot of the bells that I saw, they have this welded part to them and I feel like adding the, the black will make it stand out more and look more like a real metal bell. I don't know if you can see in this video, but on the parts that were crinkled, I'm kind of highlighting them with the black. Um, this will make the distress pop a little bit more. Now I'm just going to take some twine and I'm going to glue the twine and the, the little bell part <laughs> to the inside of the bells. These do not have to move around as they're not real bells, but it will give the illusion of real bells. They turned out so great in the end. Be very careful with this because it is very hot glue and I did burn myself so I'm using the end of a paintbrush to kind of hold it in place while it dries. I'm going to take some of that rope and put it through the loop and I'm going to make another loop and glue that together and add some twine around it to Hold it together, but also give it that sort of nautical knot look. Now I'm cutting the rope. This is gonna be the longest bell, and each bell is gonna go up a little bit higher than this bell. So I'm just measuring it, and I'm kind of laying it, laying it out to see how I like the bells to lay. Certain ones might look a little bit better than the others, so I'm just kind of rearranging them. Now I am gluing the edges together and making another loop so that I can attach it to something on my mantle. Then I'm gonna make some loops around the rope to make it look like a giant knot. All right guys, and that is pretty much it. I am so excited that I got to share this video with you guys and I am so excited to start decorating for Christmas, but not quite yet because we still have Thanksgiving, right? All right guys, here we go.
If you're still here, guys, thank you so much for watching. I would love to hear your feedback. If you guys make these bells, feel free to tag me on Instagram. I love seeing all holiday decorations, so please 